Hello, hello, hello. This is Kathy. And thanks for stopping by. I'm here today with number 18 in my tagged full deck challenge. And what that means is simply taking a tag and a card from a deck and combining them to make a piece of ephemera. So let's get started. I'm going to start by giving the tag a little bit of a background. And I have a couple of these I'm going to use. I'm going to ink them up a little bit. Just around the outer edges because I want it to look like one piece that's been kind of puzzled together. Okay, and I'm actually going to start up at the tag den like this. Yeah, and I'm going to glue that in place. These collage strips are from Tim Holtz, but you can use any old scraps that you'd like. And I'm going right over the hole. I actually want to get all the way to the end. Well, just have to trim that. I put it on a little crooked. And the second one, I want to make sure it's right up against the first one. And I'm going to trim off the excess, trim it at the back. Trim it up at the corners. And I want to put the hole back in. Just like that. While I'm here, I may as well put a eyelid and eyelid in. And I'm also going to cut off the end here. And I'm going to just embellish this just a bit. See what I have here. I kind of like that feather. But I think I'm going to wait just one second. I'm going to embellish the card first. And those of you who know me, I like to have the numbers showing rather than covering the whole thing up. I like the numbers showing in some way or other. So what I'm going to do is I want to make it so that the card is going to slip into place. So I'm going to use this. And I got this off of Amazon. Need some more. Okay. 
A little more. We can slide right in there and I'm going to I think add some purple I don't usually use purple but I think it's so pretty Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew around the top, this little bit, the sides and the bottom, leaving one side free. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I sewed that around the edge. I want to get a darker color stain if I have it. Have some walnut. This is walnut stain, in case I always mumble. Mumble! It's kind of dry. I'm also going to use it on this. Now what I need to do is put a little, I want to call kind of a little edge to this. And I can use this old piece of tag to do that, fold it in half, and I'm going to just glue that right there. That's so the card doesn't fall out when I put it through that little slot. And if I had thought about it beforehand, I would have put it on before, well, I really couldn't have, before I put in the, put on the front, but that's okay. go through there and let's continuing continue with the embellishing I kind of like the purple and the blue together but before I do that gotta have a butterfly
And I think I have a little bit of cheesecloth. Traveled the world to find the beautiful. We'll see. We'll see. These are pretty stamps. See if I have any goodies in here. Not really. Let's see what I have in here. Let me see what else. Kind of like that. The nice thing about our glitter glue, you can glue anything with it. I'm sorry if my head keeps getting in the way. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Kind of like the pink with it. too small.
I could do this one with this. Slide that right in there. Have it stick out just a bit. Let's see what we got here. to do is going to add a little tuck spot. pull the wire out. want that hidden. Let's see, I need something else. That's good.
Okay. Well, that does it for number 18 in my tagged full deck challenge. We have a little card with the pocket and a little notch to hold the card. And we have a little fabric pocket, ribbon pocket. And that does it. Thanks for sticking with me. And I hope you join me or start your own full deck, ta tagged full deck challenge. Thanks. Have a great one. Bye.